Today, I'm going to be doing a full vlog of my day. It is 7 a.m., time to wake up. I'm, I'm in my office really quick. I'm gonna check on some stuff on the computer. And then uh, get out of here, go to... Uh, go. So, before I leave the house, the first thing I do is I go through and I check my computer for any emails that I can hit in the morning before I head out. So uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm reviewing some uh, proposed plans from Tyler Bankin. You can check him out right here. Pretty cool guy. Um, he's sending me some stuff to look out for a job we're gonna be doing in Sherman Oaks. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I'm just gonna be reviewing that pretty quick and then getting out of here. So hang tight. So today is Wednesday, middle of the week, hump day. I'm not even wearing a button down today, guys. Uh, going, going crazy. We did have a, a, a nice, a nice amount of rain this year. Um, I have a feeling it's definitely going to rain today at some point. Okay, I'm, there's no fires to put out. There's no inspections. There's no nothing. It's just, you know, me going to the site. Oh. That's what we're probably up for today, but who knows? It might be nothing. Take a nap. And I'll let you guys be a part of all of that. I think I, I, think I work from about 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single Anyway, we are here at our Bluebell job. So I'm going to park and show you guys around. So what we're doing is prepping all of that grading in the front, all the grading on the side, and all of that ready, as you can see. I'm not gonna bother going in because no one's there. Uh, you know, one thing to check is making sure that the porta potty is getting cleaned, um, and making sure that the site's you know clean and prepped for everyone that needs to work there. So the reason we're doing some of this grading beforehand is simply to make it easier for the framers to do their job. They'll have a place to stack their lumber. Um, the scaffolding can set, can set up pretty nicely without any bumps or you know, things uh, blocking them. The slab looks great. Wow. But you know what? Someone left the plans outside the porta potty. I'm gonna go back in, put them in uh, where they belong so that way they don't get ruined if it does rain. Big sites such as this, uh, there's plenty of room to kind of roll around and have fun on. Against the slab, you have to remember we're going to be putting hardscape and landscape all along the, the house, right? Usually go about six or eight inches below the slab. So we're going to be grading up against this and getting all of this, getting all that extra footing kind of disappeared. And then from here, we'll be able to put, you know, our base and then pour our concrete, do our hardscape, and then bring in topsoil for the landscaping. I have a company called Go Landscapers. We do exterior design and renovation projects. And so it's a little bit of my forte. It's what I enjoy doing. But um, as you all know, I do like the, out, the uh, outdoors. Let me show you what we're designing for the front. Okay. So this is the front door. And we're gonna do a walkway coming out this way, steps coming up and then platforms that widen and come out this way. So a column and a column with a mailbox and a keypad, a front door and coming down this way. Is there, what do you like to do? Yeah, I like um, I like painting. I like money. <laughs> I like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But more important, I like uh, work. I work hard. Yeah. The more important, the customers like happy for the job. That's the more important. The money is okay. It's coming anyway. So, see the painting. So how come you never try to make me happy? <laughs> But that's imp as impossible you happy. And the more you get more beautiful job, you never as happy. But that's good for me. 
Because not every job has to like be more beautiful. So what he's what he's trying to say, and I'm never satisfied with his job because I'm always trying to push him to do better. See or no? See. So. <laughs> Hacienda painting. Hacienda painting. So uh, you know what he's actually doing. Uh, we had some doors that, that were damaged, so we had to replace a few doors. He's painting those up, but the rest of the house is complete. I think how many seats, how many doors is it? Three three doors. That's a uh, four door. If you see the the detail on this door, it's actually pretty cool. So it was a flat door. We routed this detail in. You can see. So didn't buy it like that. Made it like that. Okay, so. I'm here in Pacific Palisades and I have the marionette project. Um, when coming to the Palisades, the first thing I do is usually drive around the neighborhood, find out where all the guys are, and then go to this project first, as it's the one that's closest to wrapping up. Because I come here first, usually, uh, I'll check on all the details that need to be checked on, follow up with all the trades that need to be followed up on. Uh, I usually check in with the good landscaper guys and make sure that Everything needs to be done is getting executed. Like right now, I actually pushed everyone onto a certain detail to help us pass the pool. Um, once we get that done, we'll be able to shoot the pool, get the backyard complete. I'm really looking forward to that. We'll be able to push our inspections and get that done. Um, we got a big push to the finish line here, so I'm really excited about what we're doing. Got a lot of stuff to do. We got our stairs. I love these stairs. There's like a lot of little details about these stairs that I really love. The routed edge matches this edge, matches that. It all comes down really nice. And then these radius handrails. Just it all comes together, it looks really clean. I'm really obsessed with these beams in this room. They just came out really nice. We have a fire pit done. We're gonna put in the finished rocks. Get all the gas and electrical set up here. Pool is complete. We have some painting to do up there. Planters are in. A lot of the landscaping is done. Really looks stunning, look at that. Right now the guys are putting in privacy slats for the fence behind here. We have a fence up there. So we'll be creating a, a screen be required for the inspection that we do for this house. So we're gonna be throwing that in, getting that done so we can get the pool passed and get this thing filled with water. TK, it's about to rain in California, what do you think? If you guys don't know TK, watch the uh, interview I did with him on this channel. Uh, he's a really funny guy uh, who's obsessed with California, just a little bit too much but I think that's what uh, makes him cool. So check it out. We got the siding guys working hard on the front and the sides of the house. We're still waiting for our material to come in there. Truthfully, you can see this is not a big schlep. This is like literally, you know, block to block. We're, we've got four houses in one neighborhood that we're just knocking out and getting done. And it's pretty fun. To, uh, to be so close to each job. Right, so this is our Radcliffe project. I'll show you what we're looking at. This is the house we're going to be building. Uh, pretty cool, right? That's uh, the site. I just left Fisk. Uh, it was definitely raining, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell. Honestly, I just took advantage of the time that we had. So I had a few of my main guys over at Fisk and uh, we had a team meeting. We figured out how we can be better, how we can get better, where the holes in the system are, and uh, how we can make sure that everyone's achieving their goals. Sometimes if you're having a serious conversation with an employee, they are actually, more likely to be on the defense uh, than uh, you know thinking oh this is a growth conversation but it's important to have those conversations and you know I, I try to have them as much as possible to really make my guys feel like there there is growth there is opportunity 
uh, because there is. And I just want to make sure that they know that and uh, that I expect them to. I expect them to grow. I expect them to get better. I am now going uh, to another house in Pacific Palisades uh, for a landscape job that we're working on. It's, um, it's a go landscaper job that we designed and uh, we're, we're about to pull up to it and see if we can get some, so we just got the pool permits for that job. So now that we have the pool permits, we can get started on the project. So we're going to uh, check it out, see what we can do. Now I'm back in the valley. It is around 1.30. I stopped by the office. I have a meeting with the, with the gang there. We have a meeting with the managers and the office staff to kind of uh, prepare for our week. I'd like to make sure that we don't have any delays. So I'll let you know how that goes.